तो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ लेटेस्ट टेक न्यूज इन माय चैनल आई एम चेतन शर्मा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोना टू शो यू सम ऑफ द बेस्ट वेज बाय विच यू कैन बैकअप योर एंड्रॉयड डिवाइस डाटा टू योर पीसी इट इंक्लूड्स ऑल योर एस कॉल लॉग कॉन्टैक्ट एंड फोटोज मीडिया एंड ऑल दैट टाइप ऑफ योर डाटा सो basically i divided this video into three segments the first in which you will you can back up your contacts messages and other that type of stuff the second in which you can back up all of your data and this category is divided into further two sub categories that will be explained later so without any further delay let us start the first part is in which you can back up your contacts with the help of gmail you can sync your contact with gmail uh so when you uh reset your device or when you change your device you can easily restore that from g drive so the second part in which you can back up sms uh, that i will tell you a little bit later in which you can uh, back up your sms by a app i will take you to that uh, my mobile screen where we will do all that type of stuff so let us move to our mobile then we will move to our laptop or computer in which we want to back up data so let us start so friends now i am on my smartphone so let me show you first that how you can sync your contact with gmail to do this you will first of all go to the settings then you will have go to accounts then you will have to go to the google but i have xiaomi device i can simply search the option for sync when i type sync it will sh show the that sync settings i simply tap on that sync settings in this i will go to the google and after going to the google i will have to select the account which i want to use to backup my contacts as i am register two account in this phone so let me select my first account which i want to use for the backup of my contacts so when i tap on that my first account uh, there is option for contact you may sync all of the other part too but i want to sync only contact i simply tap on contact uh, then a sync button you will show yes there is sync button which is show that the account uh, has started the syncing my contacts so once it will done then you will reinstall that from the again from the same option so the next thing is that we want to back up our sms the sms by default cannot be backed up to the google drive so for this we need a third party software here that i i app i am using that is the sms backup the link for that app has already been provided in the description so you will just have to open that app sms backup so let me open that app now you see now i have opened the app i will see bunch of options of backup restore transfer and something like of that we will have to select the option for backup as we want to backup our smss so simply you will have to tap on that sms button and it will now ask us for the various of the options here you will have to select uh, any of your choice but i will suggest you to choose google drive as local backup will be erased when you reset your device or when you change your device this will be get erased so i recommend you you choose google drive or maybe you can choose dropbox both of all based both of them based upon the cloud storage so when you back up that then your on your new device or after resetting device you have to install same app and choose the option for restore when you tap on restore and then it will uh, again show you three option uh, you will have to select that option which you uh, was chosen when you are uh, you are backing up your data so in if you select g drive then simply tap on g drive so the for the next part or the next method uh, we use uh, apps like airdroid share it zender you choose any of that apps all of then perform same function here i am using airdroid as i think airdroid is much better and easier to control so uh, for this uh, i have to work first of all you need to turn on the hotspot of your mobile so simply go to settings and turn on the hotspot uh, once the hotspot is turned on then you will have to open your app either airdroid zender or share it anything like that here i am using the airdroid i told you earlier so simply open the airdroid app After opening the Android app, you will see a option in the first setting, Android web. You will see a web address, so which is like one ninety two point blah 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 something like that. So you will have to simply note down that uh, web address. Let me read for you. It is one ninety two point 
something like that. I'm not going to read that. Uh, I will simply uh, you note that down or uh, you, if you don't want to note that it down, then you have to simply place your phone aside and just now we will have to go to the, our laptop. So let me now quickly go to the my laptop. So let me find out where my laptop is. <laughs> so I'm just now finding my laptop. I think it will be here and there, there, here, here, anything like that. Uh, so I am just finding my laptop. So the I will just uh, repeat the steps. You will just have to simply turn on the hotspot and note down that web address. Now here I am on my laptop. Uh, first thing is that we have to connect to that network which is turned on by our mobile device, that hotspot. Uh, you see here I am using Xiaomi device Redmi. I am connected to that Redmi device. So the next step is that we have to put that web address into the address bar of that our phone's browser. Hey, I am using Mozilla. You can use Chrome too. Uh, now I have entered at 192 point something like that. Now you will have to accept that option from the your phone. Simply tap on accept and it will show you all of the your mobile performer on your browser. So here you can uh, select the option which you want to backup. Uh, for example, let me say I want to backup uh, we have music. I want to back up all of the music. I simply tap on music and then I will click here. It will select all the songs. Then I will simply click on the download. The all the, that uh, the music will be downloaded into my download folder and that will be backed up. But now I am not going to back up because I don't need the backup. I am simply want to guide you. Sim uh, similarly, you can back up your files, uh, photos, videos and etc. and all of think of that. So once your data is backed up, then how to put it back? Then again, after resetting the device, just uh, reinstall the Android app. Same, uh, you will have to re reconnect it with the uh, with your that laptop. Uh, same by turning on the hotspot. Then you will have to uh, enter that web address again. You will have to open this setup again. I just want to say, so simply drag your file, which you want to copy again to your smartphone, and just paste it here. It will be uploaded. Or you can simply choose the upload option. As uh, you will see here is the upload option. You can simply choose that or simply drag and drop. By using this you can easily restore your data back to your device. So the, our next app is it is a very useful app. You can back up all of your data by a single click. The link of that app is also given in the description. So uh, let me quickly open that uh, app uh, or that application. That software is uh, available for the our PC or Windows. It will also available for the Mac too. So once uh, installed that software, just open that software. Then here you, you see that in the trial version, we will get uh, only the option of backup and we can copy only five contacts. So, but we do not need to backup contacts because we backed the contacts earlier with the help of that uh, Gmail syncing. So here we will have to choose the option backup, uh, uh, backup backing up the phone. So uh, you see there is a three option. Uh, but we will uh, now I am attaching my device to my PC with the help of USB cable. Make sure that USB debugging on must be on in your smartphone. So as uh, you see now my phone has been connected. I now it is uh, calculating my data that uh, how much data is on my phone. Uh, so let it be calculate. Make sure USB debugging must be on on your device. So now I will simply tap on a uh, start transfer. I will see it will start transferring. I think my phone has uh, approximate 15 to 16 GB data, but it is uh, going pretty well. Its speed is, uh, speed is pretty good. Uh, it will back up data very soon, but I'm not going to back up uh, all data because I would not want to back up. I just want to give you demonstration. So I cancel that. So once the data is backed up, you will simply tap on that restore button, restore my data. Once you tap on that restore my data button, then uh, the restoring will be start. Uh, but uh, I have not uh, any backed up data so I am not uh, going to choose that option. You can cho uh, simply choose that option. So friends uh, keep in mind that your USB debugging mode must be on on your Android phone. If you don't know how to turn on you can simply google that that app. Uh, so no, google that thing. So friends uh, there is also some other options if you want to back up your photos. You can also back up your photos to google photos but that uh, will cost you a lot amount of data and lots of time too. Uh, so you can choose uh, these of the method that I have told you. It will take only a few 